So you graduated Panama in 1968. What drew you to the service? Uh, I was drafted. Yeah. Actually, it was three days before our wedding, which was kind of exciting. We had everyone invited. <laughs> I got drafted in 71, and I got out in 73. What rank were you? Uh, spec 4. You were assigned to Berlin. Did you know what your assignment was going to be there? Well, I was in, I was in the infantry, so it was the only, uh, I guess you'd say, leg unit left. You know, most of them were mechanized or helicopters. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, uh, we would uh, go out and train, and we went to like Grafenbeer, Hohensfeld. Um, we went by truck through East Berlin and also train, which was kind of exciting. Got to see the shiny boots on the Russian soldiers, and they would, like when we went through with trucks, they would come to the back of the truck and count each weapon and call you off by name and then you'd go through the border. It was, I imagine it was pre-arranged. Hitler, Hitler, aber ist Deutschland, wie Deutschland Hitler ist. Hitler, Sieg, Sieg, Defendant Rudolf Hess, on the counts of the indictment on which you have been convicted, the tribunal sentences you to imprisonment for life. Has served that life sentence in Spandau Prison in Germany. And at some point, you get assigned to prison duty. Yeah, the, what what it was is the four Allied powers. The way it was explained to me, um, France, Russia, Berlin, and the United States would switch off a month at a time and uh, guard the prison, one man and <laughs> his own. Uh, building. It's a hundred room prison and he was there alone. Seemed kind of crazy to me, but the uh, company commander explained it to us that uh, all uh, France, the U.S. and, and uh, Britain wanted to let him go, but it was the only way for the Russians to get over the wall to look around so they wouldn't sign the papers. Wow. That's right. Yeah. So you described it. What was Spandau? What was that before? Was it you know, I'm not. I I thought they told me it was the SS, an SS barracks or whatever or compound. But uh, I'm not really sure. It was it was a beautiful. But what I the only thing I really remember is uh, the hallways and like the uh, restrooms and showers were all marble and it was really a beautiful building, and then it had. Uh, a wall around with towers and whatnot. So they, then we had, do you have tower guards for this one right. person? It was kind of funny because they would give us an M16 with three bullets. <laughs> 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 kind of like Barney Fife, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And then I had a couple tours at night and I still recall it, it was quite dark and then you could, they had the, uh, I guess you'd call it the yard lit up and I could hear Hess making you know, like sounds out the windows, like he was uh, trying to. I think he was losing his mind, to tell you the truth. But he was doing wolf whistles and whatnot. But I never really got a chance to see him much. But. I read someplace where he had a garden. Oh, yeah, they, they had, it's like a walk uh, yard that they let him walk around and get some exercise. And the uh, there was a rumor going around that in his library, which he had in the prison he would read about a different country and he would go and draw that outline in the sand out there in the yard and I, I did see him out in the yard once and he was kind of running around acting crazy trying to you know get, I guess mock us. Here you got, it's bizarre, you have a, a contingent, U.S. contingent uh, guarding a prison which was huge physical facility, right. one guy <laughs> Did you kind of wonder, this is ridiculous? Right. Yeah, it's, it, that's what we all thought it was cr crazy, but, you know, it was kind of easy duty. We were kind of glad. <laughs> that's the only time I did it is for about a month. I, I'm pretty sure it was a month, yeah. So what would happen during that month? Were you actually billeted there, or did you actually... Yeah, we it? stayed right there, yep. And I think it was my whole company, if I remember right. 
there was quite a, a ceremony. I remember they gave us a special belt to wear, and and uh, when we took over, it was kind of like a changing of the guards, and they made a kind of a big deal out of that. I guess uh, the way they explained it to me, I also had a doctor, a cook, which was, uh, you know, being, I mean, I'm sure they got paid. Well, he considered himself a hero because he, he would not uh, see his family. It was, against, it was a disgrace for a German war hero to see his family if he was captured, and he would not uh, see him, from what I understood. He is the last inmate of Spandau Prison in West Berlin, where he dies at the age of 93 on August 17, 1987. That's why I'm so thrilled to, to meet you, because you saw and listened to Rudolf Hess.